Um, we weren't here yesterday. Right. <laughs> um, I had to go for a little small uh, minor surgery. You got a story to tell. On a female, female issue. And um, I was nervous because um, I don't like when I have to go out. When they put you out. And you just kept saying that. I didn't buy, it didn't, it wasn't, I wasn't sweating over that because that wasn't a, not to say that it was different than any surgery because anything could happen, even in those small ones. No, it's major because but they you asked kept you. kept saying that. And I was like, <clears throat> did she quit saying that? No, it's major because they asked you, do you have a, a power of attorney or any next of kin? And they take that stuff serious. No, I'm saying for you to be nervous about it and then speaking nervousness makes me go, I, I, should I be nervous? No. I think anytime you go out, you should be, you should be a I was, nervous. I prayed and then I sat there with my laptop like nothing was going to happen. Uh -huh. So it didn't, it, I wasn't nervous like that. I right. was concerned. Well, my thing is the only thing that I was um, concerned about was the anesthesia. Mm -hmm. How to go under. The lady said there was three ways to go under. The anesthesiologist came into the, the room. Like they always do. Before, they, before you had your surgery. Yeah. I was good with the doctor. He's I a never, nice guy. I was yes. never nervous about the um, doctor. And the staff was good. They, they were hospitable. They really made you comfortable, yeah. right? Yeah, I was never nervous about the... Um, <laughs> Only thing I was nervous about was the anest anesthesiologist <laughs> going under. Was because going she, under, not so much just because she came off of a cold or really bad flu. I have a lot of phlegm in my throat, and that because I had a cold or not real bad virus. Yeah, and that was causing a lot of phlegm and coughing and and and, and clearing. And your I was throat. wheezing, and when you wheeze, that means you having problems breathing. Right. So that was what my concern was. And then with so many different ways to go <laughs> under, you just pray that you come back. Right. So that was your concern, right? So it went in and God knew that that was my only concern. <laughs> but he also knows that I'm a comedian and I'm, I like funny. Uh -huh. So I think God deals with me that way. He deals with me with humor because uh -huh. that's like my thing, humor. Okay. So the doctor comes in. He's all cool. He's professional. Uh -huh. And, you know, I feel real comfortable and everything. Um, and then... Um, let me see if Wendy's here now. Let's see. There she is. There she is. All right. Go back and do it. She should have came in on the. You hear us? Hello. Yeah. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh -huh. But we have to ask the audience. Okay. We have to ask the audience if their mic is okay this time. Yeah. Tell me, let me know. We can hear you. You moved something and it was clearer. You got a mic on? Something? No, yeah. when she moved closer, that's when you why. moved closer. Yeah. So we have to wait. I and the mic on. You should be able to hear me. There's a mic in here. We have to wait to see if the if whoever is in the room, if they can hear you clearly. Because last time we okay. heard you clear and they didn't, so... We'll wait right, to hear. We'll wait to hear if somebody replies and says, "Do you sound like you're underwater or right. or anything like that?" That's so good. let's okay. wait. We'll we'll wait to let the audience tell us or whoever's in the room if they can hear you and if you sound okay. But I was talking about. Okay, um, I was talking about my. I had a minor surgery yesterday, and the only thing I was nervous about was the um, anesthesiologist mm -hmm. going on. Going right. on. So yeah, God that, deals. That makes nervous too. Yeah, because some, they doing the breathing for you. So that's why I was like, uh-uh. So then when the she, so God deals with me, I said in humor. So he knew the only thing that I was nervous about was the anesthesiologist. Uh -huh. So my doctor comes in and he's professional and he's uh -huh. good. And nice guy. Really? And I'm like, okay, I have confidence. I had confidence anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then the anesthesiologist comes in. <laughs> And this person's all over the place. I'm in the room with her. She has balled up piece of paper. Trying to scramble and through. And she undoes the paper. And she says, I wrote my notes down. Yes. And she says, "Um, so you had two C-sections. <laughs> I said, no, I oh. never had a C-section. <laughs> she said, oh, I'm sorry. I, this is somebody else. I'm sorry. Ooh. So she, looked, she turns oh her God. little balled up paper over. Uh -huh. And she says, okay, so um, let's see. Um, you are, it was something else she said. That it was, wasn't me. That was wrong, right? So keep looking on your balled up piece of paper. <laughs> so then she goes down maybe to the corner of the piece of paper uh -huh. where she wrote something. 
Oh yeah, you said you had a cold or something, and you had yes, that's me. I have a problem. I have phlegm in my throat. Oh lord. So then she says, okay, so there's three ways that we can do this. Right. And she named the three ways. Right. She said we can do something like an epidural where you'll be up, but in the bottom, not in the bottom, the bottom of you. part of your body, or we can um, we can do um, like they do in a colonoscopy. We have a colonoscopy. It's it, a light anesthesia where you may wake up though. That's the chance she we said take. you may wake up in the middle of it, mm-hmm. and then she said the last one is when you're all the way out, and right. I stick a thing the down, your throat, down your throat, and I, and we breathe for you. I said, well, I don't want that. Just do the one word. Yeah, it's, it's like a light. colonoscopy. <laughs> so she said, okay. She goes out of the room. My doctor's in the hallway. And we hear, and we think if she has a choice, you hear some blah 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 blah. The nurse comes back in. She says, okay, I need you to sign the form, you know, for, and you know, all that. And I said, well, what, what am I getting? Which one? Which she one said, the you- doctor wants you all the way out with the breathing tube. Because he didn't want to chance her moving while he's doing his procedure. So I said, I see what you're doing. <laughs> you knew that the only thing that I was nervous about uh-huh. was the anesthesi- anesthesi- um, anesthesiologist. Uh-huh. So you sent... The craziest Lu- anesthesiologist I love, I love Lucy. <laughs> to let me know you're the ultimate doctor. I'm in control. Kim. I'm in control. Look how baffled she is in her notes and stuff. And for some reason, because she was so over the top, yes. I was calm. Yes. I was like, that has to be God. Yeah, to because go- he wouldn't send me in there like that. I, I was in the corner of the room smirking <laughs> like, oh. Oh Lord! Oh my what do God. we have here? She gonna be the one put you under but, and put a tube uh, hey, hey, for the rest of my life. My life is in your hands. Let me get rid of my my pick my crumbled up paper, and now I can take your what, life. That, that's, that's what God was saying. God was saying, "Don't trust her. Trust me." Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Exactly. So that's exactly justice. What can you hear Wendy? Is Wendy sound?